you look at the evolution of money from when we used to have a barter system through shells, through precious metals, through precious metals stamped with king's faces on them, to paper money, and now to credit cards and mobile payments, someone created another way to have a money system without a central authority, and that is Bitcoin. If we think about the way digital payments work today, and again, all payments will be digital, there's a third party in the middle, whether it's Visa, Venmo, PayPal, WeChat. Someone in the middle can freeze your transaction, confiscate your funds, surveil and spy on you. With Bitcoin, your transaction is completely peer-to-peer. -peer. The payment processing is done by a decentralized global competition and not by an entity. This is a revolutionary step in human history. Why Bitcoin will do well in a financial crash. Reason number one, Bitcoin is completely global. Reason two, if we look at financial crashes that are already happening in other parts of the world, for example, places like Venezuela, we're seeing that the people living in Venezuela are using cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin to store their value. Reason three, we live in a digital age. So if we're talking Bitcoin versus gold, there's a lot of things that Bitcoin has that gold just does not. Why would a 15-year-old care or should they care about cryptocurrencies? Yeah, absolutely. That's a super good question because um, it's really important for 15-year-olds today to understand cryptocurrency right now because 10 years later, nothing else yeah, are going to matter that much. I think all of money we know today were going to be cryptocurrencies 10 years uh, from now when they enter the workforce. So they absolutely should learn about it in school now, today. Cool. This is the coin mine one. It's a plug-and-play cryptocurrency miner which costs about the same amount as a PlayStation 4. This also uses about as much electricity as the PlayStation 4. The difference is this will earn you about 50 cents a day. This won't earn you anything. Now, if you think 50 cents a day at today's prices isn't a lot, go and have a look at how much cryptocurrencies have appreciated in value over the, the, the last two to four years you will see some of them have done over a thousand X. Let's say for a year you mine a cryptocurrency and you're getting about 50 cents per day in that crypto. And that crypto does a hundred X its value, which is very normal in the cryptocurrency space. Instead of mining 50 cents a day, you've actually at that point mined $50 a day. We are 17 days from the Bitcoin halving and here's my price prediction. I think we won't see too much movement from the current price. We'll probably range between six to eight K. But then at least a month, if not two months after the Bitcoin halving, we'll see price to go up again. This pattern has happened with the two previous halvings. In 2012, nothing really happened right around the halving, but then about two months later, we started to go up. Same thing in the halving in 2016, we saw pretty much nothing until probably two and a half months later, and then we started to go up. Around both of those two previous halvings, there were a lot of speculation. People were really hyped up about this big event. But it's precisely because that everybody already knows about the Bitcoin halving that the price won't really change much. Most people are just speculating on the specific event and not really a long-term holder. So they do something called buy the rumor, sell the news, so to speak, where they buy before the halving, expect something to happen right at the dot and nothing happens for a month and they get up. So we'll see what happens. So in 2015, this guy got the first Bitcoin tattoo. I wonder where he is now. In our last video, we talked about the US dollar shitcoin and how it is inflationary over time. Quick summary being that rapid monetary explosion has five times the currency base, and now currencies are worth a lot less value. We can compare this to Bitcoin, which has a maximum amount of 21 million that will ever exist. And less and less is given out to the miners and node hosters over time. This exerts deflationary pressure. We're at a time where printing money is the primary way out of this problem. Do you really want this trend to continue? This powerful indicator has just flashed a huge buy signal for Bitcoin. It is the hash ribbons crossover indicator. The hash ribbon is based on the fact that Bitcoin's price follows miners' activity. When there are more miners mining, Bitcoin price goes up. And when miners stop mining, Bitcoin price goes down. This indicator tracks Bitcoin miners' activity to see exactly when the majority of them have stopped mining, but then recognizes when the miners are getting back in again. 
because this signals that the price is bottomed and will be going back up again. Now this is a very powerful indicator because it doesn't happen very often. It's only happened 10 times in the last 11 years. And if you follow this strategy, you would have yielded 5,000% on average to the next peak in price. And I actually covered this indicator the last time that it fired in November 2019. The last time the buy signal fired, we saw the price go from 7K all the way up to 10K. Obviously, this is not financial advice for you to go all in on Bitcoin right now. But if you were on the fence, now might be a really good time to start buying small amounts.